Hey lacrosse fans, pop quiz. What's the world's biggest country? Russia, of course. But did you know it only has two lacrosse clubs? Well, we only really have about two clubs at the moment. We have one in St. Petersburg, one in Moscow. We have a third club slowly developing in Yaroslavl and in the Moscow region. Um, I would say it's developing slowly. Part of it is uh, infrastructure problems. For example, it's difficult to play outside for most of the year and it can be expensive. Um, in a lot of places, the, you know, it's, it's an expensive sport to start, let's be honest here. And to get the gear, it's difficult to Russia. We have to ship it. They have to buy it from internet sites that are based abroad and whatnot. And so it's slowly developing, but we've seen a lot of progress. Uh, the guys here, for example, they go to a lot of tournaments outside of Russia. Uh, Dima over here coaches a youth team in Moscow. They have about 50 or 60 kids now. So it, we're, we're, seeing, we're seeing progress, and that's good. You know, it's, it's a slow... You know, it's not going to be exponential growth by any rate, but, you know, slow, incremental, and hopefully, you know, by next time we uh, show up at a world championship, it'll be all domestic players on this team, so. How have you uh, taken the sort of the U.S. foundation that you have and applied that back to the team here? Uh, mainly through experience. I've been able to show people, for example, most of people's experience to lacrosse in Russia comes from originally American Pie, the movie, because they play it in there. And so that's actually the guy who found the club in St. Petersburg, um, he studied abroad for a semester in same, for a year in Alabama, of all places. And then when he came back and he was showing people, they were like, oh, like the sport they play in American Pie, because they didn't know what it was. They didn't, just some strange American sport. Former hockey player Dmitry Kamen is a physical education teacher. Naturally, he's starting a lacrosse movement in Moscow one student at a time. The uh, youth lacrosse program is the first lacrosse program in Russia. Uh, uh, since... 2015, 15, we, we, play, um, we have now uh, around 50 children, it's a different age, uh, till 7 to 15. There are a lot of good athletes in Russia, yeah. how do you get those athletes into lacrosse, into the sport of lacrosse? Um, we start, um, I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher now, and I look, he, he's good. He's good. He's good. We, uh, you, you need you need lacrosse. Okay, he, okay, teacher. I, I I try. He try. He like it because um, lacrosse is um, for, for my team. For my team, uh, it's it's like a family. It's re it's really like a family. Now, as we know, Russia's a big country. Fans love their hockey, but so do Canadians. And if Canada can win a World Lacrosse Championship, maybe someday Russia can too.